Hey. Hey, girl. How can you hear you? me okay? I can. Can you hear me? I can. Okay. So last time I did this for Julie on my laptop, she said there was a bunch of feedback. Is that happening? I don't hear it. No. Perfect. Even when I watch back, I'm like, oh, it sounds so bad. Really? No. Yeah. Really well. That's good. Yeah. So I guess it was a blessing that the laptop died. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I need to really get me a new computer. I've had this one for probably like six years and oh, the video on it is just, it's so outdated and I'm like, I need to get me a new computer. It's a business expense, girl. I know. I tried to get it before like the end of the year because of like taxes and stuff. Yep. But, <laughs> oh, you know how it goes. The, okay. the year gets away. But how is the lighting? Sorry, I don't want to interrupt you, but I just want to get, is it better without this or with it? I say without. It's a little harsh, isn't it? Yeah. I hate new computers. I mean, I love them, but I also hate them. Yeah, I know. It's hard to. Let me turn it on a bunch. Okay, that's better. Um, well, thanks so much for doing this. I'm no, so thank you for asking. I'm like so honored. How do I say your last name? Okay, I was going to ask you the same thing. Um, it's C, like the letter C. Oh, C. I was saying say. Well, that's what we get all the time. Um, are you Howie? How? How? Okay. So how polished makes more sense now. <laughs> sure does. I love it. I love it. Dang it! It makes me wonder how many people think it's something else because Julie thought it was ho. Oh, it's like ho polished? No, oh. that's not it. <laughs> No, that does make more sense. Um, no, I know we, our last name is the same way people say C or they'll say CA or say, and I'm like, it's just simple. It's, it's a letter, yeah. letter C. I feel the same way. I'm like, no, it's, it's much easier. Yeah. And I, I know what it is because growing up, I lived in an area that had a how Avenue. With um, an e. yeah. So I just knew how to say it when I met my husband, he's like, oh, nobody ever knows how to say it. I'm like, really? It's so easy. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. I, I When I met him, I thought the same thing. It's C. Like, I never thought anything else. And he was so shocked. And I was like, why Why would you? I don't know. I, I don't yeah. know why. That's so funny. Okay. Um, I want to try to, um, I'm kind of new at like using Zoom, but I want to make sure that if I have my notes up, I should probably print my notes, huh? And I share my screen. Oh, yeah. You're going to see my notes, right? Um, you want to try it real quick? Sure. I don't like. Uh, actually, let me make you a, I think I have to make you a hostess. <clears throat> is, do you pay for this or is it going to cut us off? Um, I think I pay for it. <laughs> I, don't, no. I don't really know. No, but um, I think I just made you a host. Okay. I tried to. I'll share screen. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Host disabled participant. Wait. Sharing. Oh, it still says I'm. There you oh. go. Should work now. I don't know. Let me try again. Oh, okay. Desktop. Yeah. I suck at this so much. Oh, yeah. Allow Zoom to share. Yeah. Open some preferences. Okay. What do I do? Just click it. This is terrible. I'm so glad we jumped on. Yeah. It's fine. And if we need to, you know, if we go past 12, it's fine. They can wait. <laughs> Choose to quit Zoom or do it on your own. Okay. I don't know what to do. If this makes me quit, I'll just join in a minute. Okay. That's fine. Okay. No, I don't want to leave. So when you hit desktop, like it should pull up like, you know, the white screen with the different options and you chose desktop. Right. And what did it send you to? It, I have to allow zoom to record the contents of my screen and it looks like i have to assign like change that setting and leave and so i'll come back in just a second okay well let me change myself back to hostess you might have to do that or i'll i can do it Re there oh okay
Okay. Okay. Do you want to try really quick or do we want to go ahead and add everyone? Try it, try it again, just in case, because that's okay. going to screw up if I don't. Okay. It shouldn't take long. So, oh, shoot. What did I just do? Oh God. I'm so nervous because I'm using a computer. I don't know. It's okay. Okay. You are now close. I see that. Okay. So if I double click this, does it open? Okay. Can I just like right click? Oh my God. Do you, you don't use a Mac, do you? I do. So when I try to screen, share my screen, it just pulls up like that white screen that gives you the options. And then I put desktop. So what I'm trying to do is I have a folder with pictures I want to share with everybody. Yeah. I want it to just be like a slideshow that I can just like click through them. You should be able to do that. But it's making me open each picture individually. That's okay. not right. Open with preview. Why don't we do this? I'm going to do like a little blurb, like a welcome thing. And why don't you put, take your video off? That's why you're kind of like figuring things out. Okay. And then, um, and then maybe when you're ready, just put your video on, then I'll know you're ready. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Let me, how do I turn that off? Your video. Oh, stop video. Yeah. Stop video. And then I'm going to mute. All right. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to reclaim host. Oh no, I can't do that. Shoot. Hold on. <laughs> no. We're going to get this. It's fine. Make host. Change host. Okay. Tiffany, you have to approve everyone. If you can see how to do that. I was muted. Okay. Can I send it back to you. Yeah, but then you won't be able to figure out what you need to figure out. Are you still needing to figure I'm things so out? Sorry. Okay. No, you're fine. How I about will, you how want about, me to prove everyone right now? Yeah, just to prove everyone. Okay. I'm going to mute myself again and then see if my husband can help me real quick. Okay. Hello, hello. Okay. okay, you guys are popping on. I am going to ask for you guys to mute yourselves. Do not mind. Hello, everyone. Um, we are kind of having some technical difficulties. So at this moment, I am not the host hostess of the group, so I can't mute everyone. And Tiffany is working on side of things. So if you can, please mute yourself. No background noise. I'm so, so happy to have you guys. Perfect. Thanks, guys, for muting. All right, we're going to give just maybe a couple of minutes for people to hop on. Um, if you are, so we actually have Tiffany's team and my team on this call. So, hey, everyone, I'm Jackie. If you do not know me, um, super excited to have Tiffany on today. And uh, we had a couple of minutes trying to figure some things out before you, you all got on. And I think she's still trying to figure it out. But until then, um, we'll just allow some people to hop on. How's everybody's day going? Y'all feel free to use the chat option on the side. If you're just hopping on, just make sure you mute yourself if you can. Tiffany, if you want like one more minute and then we can, if it's still not working, we can just, well, just figure out how to go forward. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm almost ready. Just give me one minute. Awesome. No problem. Okay. So I'll go ahead and do just some updates because I mean, I know you guys probably already know, but I just watched yesterday's Tuesday training. So if you haven't watched the Tuesday training, watch it because that new feature is going to be a game changer. I still am old school and do my follow-ups on like pen and paper so to have this follow-up feature is going to be awesome so if you have not watched that watch that um, <laughs> and then tiffany when you have a chance 
be if Jai is misplaced, lost, or improperly disposed. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that, you guys. All right, Tiffany, I think as a hostess, you have to be the hostess to share your screen, I believe. Um, so I'll keep you as a hostess. If you want to just every now and then make sure you hit the mute everyone just so we don't have any background noise in case someone has not muted themselves. Um, but other than that, you're good to go. Uh, where do I, where do I mute everyone? Oh, mute all. I see it. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just learning how to use this. <laughs> It's fine. Okay, so we'll get started. I have it recording. Um, and Tiffany, if you just want to kind of introduce yourself, um, you're hopping on, make sure you're muted so that um, we can hear Tiffany well, and she'll get going. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. Let me put this on gallery view so I can see everyone's faces. I'm so glad that you guys invited me to talk to your team today. And for letting me share this with my team, this is a really cool thing for them to be able to see as well. Um, so I'm Tiffany Howe, uh, Howe Polished. I've been with Color Street for almost two years and just recently seemed to figure out how to take a nail fee. It took me forever. It's, oh my gosh, can I turn that off? Can you guys hear that? I'm sorry, let me turn that off. Um, it took me forever to figure out that it matters. And I thought, I thought initially at first I was just taking an LP just because it was pretty and I wanted to share it with my customers, but it's so much more than that if you want it to be. Somebody remind me to admit people every now and then. Okay, so first I want you all to show me your nail piece. Let's see them. Let me see what you got on and hold them up there for a minute so I can see, oh, Lorraine, you're doing a new one. So pretty. Okay, so it seems like you guys are pretty good at application. Okay. I am going to ask you guys to utilize the chat as much as possible. Jackie, you're going to kind of run that for me. Okay, let me know if there's any important questions. And don't be afraid to use that. I want this to be interactive and you guys to learn from this as much as possible. So first thing I want to ask, and I'm going to kind of call on a couple of you. So if I call you, don't forget to unmute yourself. Why do you take nail fees? Um, Carmen, why do you take nail fees? Um, show um, my customers, my VIP, my latest one, um, and just to show the joy that I've had in making them. <laughs> Perfect. So kind of to show your passion, show that you love it. Uh, Lorraine, why do you take nail fees? Well, I love photography. Ooh. But also, I just love showing the um, combinations they pick out for me. <laughs> awesome. So you, you're kind of your artsy side and you want to show people how it can be fun and unique to your personality. Does that sound right? And I'm going to grab one more person here. Evan, Evan Gonzalez, why do you take nail fees? Oh, sorry. I just hopped on. That's and okay. obviously I'm not Evan, I'm Cherry. <laughs> I was like, hmm. <laughs> sorry. Cherry? Um, I take nail fees. Um, I actually sell skincare and lipstick as well. And so I love to like show my customers the color straight matching the lipstick that I wear. Awesome. For inspiration. The versatility. So those are all really good. Let me look over. Let me see if I can pull up the chat. Let's see what we have. Oh, nobody's really wrote in there. So guys, don't be afraid to use the chat. Um, just let me know what is your reason for taking nail fees in the chat. Um, so like Carmen said, we show our passion. We love this product. We want to wear it. If I was trying to sell you a product that I didn't believe in, that I didn't show you that I loved, why would you believe it as well? Why would you want to wear it? If I can't even wear it myself, I would be lo looked at as a hypocrite. I love the product. I want to wear it. I want to show how much fun I have. I have to show the world by posting it and by sharing it that this product is something I personally use myself. Like Lorraine said, the fun of it, the photography, the fact that you can make it your own and have it be fun and share that with your customers. That's a huge benefit to all beauty products, right? 
you get to make it your own. You get to choose to do it in your own way, whether you like red lipstick, whether you like maroon, whether you don't like lipstick at all, you get to choose and Color Street lets you do that. How amazing is that to share with women? Every woman needs that option. Some people are girly and they want to get head to toe dressed up and wear lipstick and whatever to go do their groceries. I don't, I'm like a sweatshirt and leggings kind of girl. Don't really like to wear makeup, but still Color Street will work for that person and also for me. And that's amazing. And that's kind of like what, I'm sorry, was it Sherry or Cherry? I thought you said Cherry. Yeah, uh, it's Cherry like the fruit. Okay, perfect. Cherry was saying, um, the beauty matching, that kind of goes with it as well. You can match different products to all these different colors. And we have to be able to share that somehow. How can we share it if we're not documenting it and putting it out there for the world, right? Um, let me see what some, some else, someone else has for the chats here. So different people can see this set on, looks different out of the package. Melanie, totally 100% true. These sets, we've all said it looks so much different applied. Um, and it isn't until someone sees it on someone's hand that they're like, oh my gosh, I never used to like that set. I never even used to bat an eye at that set, but now I'm buying it right away. Taking nail fees, it's a big deal. Um, try to change them once a week to show the different sets available. Um, well, let me admit some people. Okay. And then I want everyone to see what options there are to give ideas to our VIPs. That's a big deal to give ideas. It's more of a look what I can do, Charlotte. <laughs> That's cute. Um, I share all my manis. I also share all my manis. Don't ever let a mani go by without taking a picture of it, unless it just is like, eh, you know, it's like, this is a, I'm not gonna keep this on. It didn't work out the way I wanted to. Um, so another huge reason why we take nail fees, and I want you guys to have an open mind about this. Because when I first started taking nail fees, like I said, it was the same as you guys. I, I just, it was fun. And I wanted to share it with people. I wanted them to see what it looked like on my hands. I wanted to spotlight a certain set so they could see this is just now stocking. But another big reason that we take nail fees is for marketing. You want to market yourself with any type of business where you're selling a product, especially if you're doing it individually, like with direct sales, you have to take every step that you can to set yourself apart from all the other stylists that are doing the same exact thing as you. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is to market yourself, brand yourself. And what better way to do it than to show the product that you love and you're passionate about, that you can be artistic with, that you can be versatile with, show it as advertisement in your photos and make people believe in the product that you also believe in. It seems a little bit heavy, but it's true. And since I have had this mindset, it has opened up my business in so many ways. And it just kind of happened on accident because I posted a nail fee once that kind of went viral in the color street groups. And I was like, what's happening? I had a thousand likes. I'd never had that before. People were sharing it all over the place. I, and that was by accident. So since then my marketing and my advertisement and my exposure to other people that are searching for Color Street has been bigger. And that's what your nail fees can do for you as well if you want them to. So this training will be about just you upping your game a little bit, a little bit. It can also be about you upping it big and you trying your hardest to get your name and your exposure out there. So whatever you want to take away from this, I'll, I'll get it all for you. Um, when I take my nail fees, you guys, it's a process. It is not, I just walk outside for one second and take a picture. This is a thought out process that I do. And it literally takes me about 45 minutes to do from start to finish, not from my manicure start, just after my manicure cures to finish, I've edited and I'm posting it 45 minutes. You guys, that it's part of your business. This is what you do. You have to invest a little bit of time in yourself and in your marketing to get your exposure out there. Um, you want to think of your nail fee as a tool. If you have that mindset that this nail fee, Lorraine, you're a photographer, your photos are literally a marketing tool for you, right? So are your nail fees. This is what we do. This is what we sell. And you need to look at your nail fees as being more important than just sharing a new manicure with your customers. This is your life. This is your product. And you need to put yourself out there because you are the product. Also, you're selling yourself. Um, if it wasn't for 
me looking at this like marketing, Jackie would have no idea who I was. Am I right? How would you have found me? All these people on Color Street wouldn't have any idea who I was. Color Street wouldn't have just shared one of my manis if it wasn't for marketing. This is getting me new customers, new exposure to stylists that are sharing it. And also them sharing my nail fees is getting me more exposure to customers. So I can't stress enough how important your nail fees are to your exposure of your business. Um, and also you are the biggest billboard for this product. If you're walking around wearing it, you're a walking billboard and everyone, how many times have you been stopped? Oh my gosh, your nails are so cute. What are those? Where did you get those done? I'm local. I could go get those done where you got them done. Nope. I just did these at home. So you're literally a walking billboard. <laughs> so your nail fees can just be another piece of that. Um, if you want to set some time aside to just grab that quick nail fee and have the mindset that it's a tool for you. So a little background, not about myself, but not, not background, but a little information about social media. If you don't know, you post something out into the world. It's not just dead. Okay. Like, Oh, whoever sees it is going to see it. There's something called algorithms and marketing metrics that Facebook and Instagram use behind the scenes to boost or not boost your post. And this is free. This isn't, I'm paying for advertising. This is just once I hit post, Instagram goes into their little, you know, algorithm mode and Facebook as well. Um, there's something called, their metrics are impressions and engagement. Impressions is how many times someone has seen your post. So they've scrolled past it. They haven't done anything else, but they saw it. And then there's engagement, which is how many times someone touched it, liked it, commented, shared it, replied to it, um, clicked on your link, visited your profile. It's pretty obvious that we want the engagement, right? We want people to look at it, to go to our profile, to go to our link. That's the dream, right? So to do that, you have to take a scroll stopping nail fee. Whether it's just your nails, whether it's your face and your nails, whether it's an inconspicuous nail fee, as I like to call them, where you're holding something and you're not really like just talking about your nails, but you're just kind of showing them. Um, all of these engagements that you get on your scroll stopping post are going to build a following for you of stylists and of customers. It's going to um, improve your engagement and, it's, and the more engagement is your opening to new customers. So again, build a following, more people see it. The more people that see it, it improves your engagement. Improving engagement opens it up to the reach of new customers. And I know that's kind of a lot. It's kind of like the nerdy background to the uh, metrics, the marketing metrics and the algorithms, but they're a big deal right now. Everyone's heard about Facebook algorithms. So um, you want to have that in mind when you're taking your nail fees. So now let's get to the fun stuff. How do we take a scroll stopping nail fee? This is what I'm here for, right? So I like to advise that try to use sets that are in stock. Because if you're going to post this and you get that attention, people are like, oh man, Trent Spotted is even in stock right now. What's on your nails? I can't even buy that right now. And then all of a sudden that nail fee was a waste because they're not going to remember when you post the next one that they like Trent Spotted. Well, they might, but they, they might not. So if you're going to post something that's going to grab somebody's attention, you want them to click your site and to scroll and find Trend Spotted and buy it right away. Like you want them to copy your nail fee, right? So do something that's in stock. I try to stay away from retired sets as much as possible, as hard as it is. So pick nails, pick colors that are in stock. Um, prep your canvas, okay? If your canvas is bad, your nail fees are going to be bad. Your application is going to be bad. You wouldn't know, but underneath this beautiful manicure, terrible nails, you guys. My nails are horrible. They peel, they crack. They bend, they shape weird. One of my nails completely grows in a weird direction, which I don't even use this nail fee hand. So the best that you can do is get products that help you get through a good nail fee and prep your canvas. I love this stuff. It's called O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's like for contractors, you guys, men that work with their hands. And this stuff is golden. It, I used to, my fingers used to crack around the edges. I use this every night. I also use Hardest Hoof, which most of, most people have already heard about in the color shoot world. 
makes your cuticles good and actually strengthens your nails from the inside. OPI Nail Envy every time. And now I actually now don't even need to use OPI Nail Envy because of hard as hoof and this every night. I've, I've been able to stop using OPI Nail Envy. And then obviously Mineral Fusion. My biggest recommendations to get through having crappy nails because not, not all of us are blessed with beautiful nails. Okay. Um, this seems obvious, but to prep your canvas, shape your nails, put them all in the same shape, pick your shape, rounded, pointy, squared, whatever it is, all the same shape and make them the same length. I know it's hard when you have long nails and you break one, it's really hard to cut those other ones down. But the last thing you wanna show everybody is that one janky nail that's either longer than all the other ones or shorter than all the other ones. Immediately, nobody, like you lost all, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Validity as a stylist, like that's terrible. Don't, like when someone cuts your hair and they just have like horrible outgrown roots, like they haven't even tried to do their hair in months. You're a stylist, you need to have your nails on point. So when it breaks, even though it's gonna break your heart, clip them all down, make it a very pretty, uniformed shape. I know it sounds silly because they're your nails, but trust me, it will up your game. Um, it kind of goes without saying a good application. If you are not good at applying your nails, you need to research. You need to go on YouTube and search how to apply solids. If you're not good, if you're having your tips are wearing, or you can't, you know, seem to get the perforated edges without chipping, that means you need to learn how to do it. So go to YouTube, this is exactly how I learned and type how to apply color street solids. There's a million good videos on how to just do it really well. Um, I did that, I did that. And then you wanna clean up your excess really well. I see a lot of people post nail fees where it's all, it's like clearly on top of their cuticles. It's, it's alongside on the skin. You need to clean it up as good as you can. Um, I like to use, these cuticle sticks that have the rubber ends right here and I literally push them down into the creases and up into my cuticles and it just perforates it really well um sorry guys I'm just reading through my my list try mixed manis guys try your hand at creating a mixed mani I know they're scary and I know they're they take practice it's not easy it's an art seeing colors and being able to put them together is not natural for everybody. It is not natural for me. And it was, if you look back at some of my old nail fees, you'll be like, wow, I can't even believe that's the same person, but you'll watch my progression of getting better and better each time you have to practice to get it right. So I advise, I usually try to pick one really hot set right now. So like midnight Manhattan re restocked what yesterday, I think I lay out a brand new set of midnight Manhattan. And then I open, because a lot of people ask me, did you open four sets to do that? Never. I never open. I usually only open one set, sometimes two, if I am just like dying to do it. The rest of it comes from here. So I lay out Midnight in Manhattan. I take out every open set that I have, and I think this could go with it. Put it down. Get rid of the rest. Put down the ones that you think would go pretty well with Midnight in Manhattan and kind of um, scale it down a little bit to less nails and then go through and See if you can make some packages. See if you can make a good palette of colors. It's an art, you guys. So just what looks good to your eye. Find some colors that look really cute together. And then throw, I usually like to do a solid, a design, and a glitter so that it's it's interesting on all the spectrum. So like, you're, that's also the advertising. If you have to try solid, you have to try glitter, and you have to try design, look what I did, you know? So you're also advertising the versatility and how people can be creative with the different types of sets that we have. Um, Mixed manis are hot, so try it. Try it once, try it again, try it three times. If you feel like by the third time you're not getting better, message me and I'll help you. Message, people do that all the time. I have these two colors, what should I put with it? And I help them. And it and it, it's just, it's, it's a lot harder for some people, but I promise by the third time, if you're not better, you're gonna know that you can message me and, and I'll help you, but you'll be better by the third time, don't quit. Um, oh, try to try to do unique ones. As a stylist, we all want to copy the cute manis that we see. So if you saw one by Jackie, Jackie posts one, and it's super cute, mixed mani, you're like, oh my god, I have to do that. Don't copy it. Pull up her mani and find just one set to replace. The solid. 
replace. I did that the other day with um, Munich Mulberry. Someone used, I don't know, Berlin it to win it. And I was like, I'm going to put a pop of like pinkish red in there. And I loved it. And it looked nothing like that original one. So if you see one that you like, use it for inspiration, just challenge yourself to replace one color. See how much it helps because that's also a good way to get started with mixed manis is to find that inspiration and just swap one, right? Everyone can just find one that they can swap. Um, okay, I got through all of that part. Am I going too fast? Are there any questions? I'm, I don't, it doesn't look like anyone's trying to get in. Tiffany, I went ahead and just took back the hostess. Okay. So that I could approve since you weren't screen sharing yet. So when you need to screen share, just let me know and then I can make you a host again. Okay. So let me just make sure. Oh, there's a lot of comments. So just let me know if there's any questions, Jackie. Um, okay, so now we're on to taking the picture. I have just a regular iPhone. I don't have a nice camera. I mean, I don't have like a fancy camera. I'm not a photographer. I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to lighting and photography, but I know a little bit. And that literally came from me doing this. Where's, where's the good lighting? When, when, when I'm looking at my phone, when does it look good? <laughs> That's literally all that I know about photography. When does it look good? When does the nail color match? Where can I stand that the nail color looks the same? And that's when I realized I need to go outside because inside the lighting is never right. Most people don't have perfect natural lighting. That's why we have ring lights and a, and a light up there and, a, and our windows open. It's We never have the perfect lighting inside. So go outside and open your camera and just, do this and walk around and find that angle, look down, look up, find when it looks like your nail color and your skin color are the same. That's the best place to start. And it usually will come in indirect sunlight, um, which I'll get more into later. When I share my screen, I'll have examples of what indirect sunlight looks like. Um, okay, so go back to taking the picture. Let your nails cure. Don't ever start taking your pictures until your nail nails have cured. Let me ask you next time you do this, take a picture right after you apply and then take a picture in the same exact spot after it's cured. And you tell me which one looks better for the application. I'll leave that with you. Always let it cure. Put lotion on guys. I know it seems like it's so obvious, but put some lotion on, make your skin look really nice. Um, grab some cute shoes. I'm a mess everywhere else, but as long as my shoes are cute, I can get a super cute nail fee from it. So I'll put my, my you know, cowgirl boots on or my, Ugg boots and go outside because that can be if I if it if it seems like it's right it can be a nail fee for me go outside just don't even try to take your pictures inside anymore for for like the next five manis just take them outside and see if it helps your your nail fee game look at your phone and tell me if you see smudges right here everyone look at your phone do you see smudges right here this is going to cloud your picture and it's so obvious, again, these things are so obvious, but once you get into the routine of checking, always wipe that off because I know you, most of you have kids. We all have oily fingers. We're touching our phone and grabbing it wherever and there are smudges here and it will affect your picture lighting and your picture clarity. Um, if you have an iPhone, don't use portrait mode. It can't edit very well. It, it doesn't always get the, the um, blurring right and it's really hard to edit. So don't use portrait. Um, unless portraits for your face, don't use it for your nails. Let's see, grab props, you guys. The props are my favorite part of taking nail fees. So I'm sharing all my secrets with you, okay? These are my babies right here. So I don't know if you guys have seen my nail fees. I always have a cuff because this to me looks much better than just this. Once you add that cuff, it's just cuter, but it's not really a sweatshirt. This is an old sweater because I live in Georgia and it's really hot. I hate that I can't hear you guys laughing. I feel so weird over here, like making jokes. <laughs> I live in Georgia and it's really humid and I got really tired of putting a sweatshirt on to go take this picture. So I literally just got fed up and cut it one day and it became the best thing ever. So I went to my closet and found all oh, the cutest doggy ever. I just saw go by Lorraine. Let me see it. Oh, <laughs> I went and I found a bunch of old sweaters I never use and I just cut them at the forearms, okay? I didn't buy anything. I just went through my closet and found everything. Uh, what I did buy was some jewelry. I found 
on Etsy, if you look for um, knuckle rings, you'll find a lot of places that have these really cute and affordable, just very small rings that you can put on your knuckle. Can you see that? Just, I have a ton and I have some in silver and rose gold so that no matter what Manny I'm using, I have options for what makes the color pop the best. So if anyone's looking for knuckle rings, I have a great girl that I found that does them. Cute bracelets, guys, your watch, anything right here. If you're not gonna have a cuff, create visual interest by putting something on your wrist, whether it's Apple watches, everyone loves Apple watch bands. You probably all have cute ones or just little like cheap bracelets, guys, in the dollar bin. You can find cheap bracelets, anything just, it doesn't matter what's here as long as, as it's something. It's creating visual interest. For me, I seem to never get the bracelets right. So I just, I just always use a cuff. <laughs> it's the easiest thing for me. Um, cute cups, cute pens, just anything to make visual interest for your nail piece. Okay. I have props. My, and I kind of keep this all together. So when it's go time, I just have everything right in one spot. Um, and I literally will wait until I see indirect lighting outside. Again, I'll go over this more later. When I see the indirect lighting happening, like a, like a cloud goes by and it covers up the sun a little bit, I go outside. I have to be ready to go, like throw my shoes on, go, go take my nail piece. If you find that you have indirect lighting in a spot, but you tell me, Tiffany, my, because I use my backyard, it's beautiful. If you're like, I don't have a pretty backyard. I, I just, I don't have pretty grass. It's just dirt out there. You just have just the worst backyard in the world. Go to Walmart or walk around your house and find something that would be a cute background. Okay. I got this for like five bucks at Walmart. And this is what I used at, at before I, I purchased something else. This is what I was using to create my nail fees. I just laid this wherever. And it's nice to have it be mobile because you can use it wherever you find the indirect lighting. And if you don't ever have indirect lighting, find some shade. That's your second best option is to just find some shade where there's some light coming in, put your back, your background, wherever and just take your nail piece there. And it's awesome because you can kind of hold it up and find the lighting. So I suggest having a background until you get better at it and you know the spots where you can take your picture. Just go grab a quick or walk around, like walk around your house and just find something. It doesn't have to be big, you know, just find something that you think could be a cute background and mute out the rest of the background like this. Just that that's too much. You want to mute that out. So just grab something to put in its place. That's cute. Um, take multiple pictures. You're out there. Take multiple poses. Like most of the time I have my cuff on. I take one like this. I take one, my signature nail fee where my hand's kind of like crooked. My pinky is crooked. That's my signature. And then I take some like this. I take some where I stand up and I show my shoes, which is why I told you to grab some cute shoes. You want to create with the same Manny, something different for your customers to look at. So I take like 10 pictures each time I do it. That way, when you put a Manny on, it's usually like a week before you change them, sometimes two. So you're just going to not post pictures or advertise for two weeks until you change your Manny. Take multiple pictures, multiple backgrounds, multiple poses and shots. And you'll every day or every other day, you'll have content to put out. That's not the exact same nail fee that you took or posted yesterday. So that's why I suggest taking multiple pictures, take a video um, and just have it ready to, to throw in your Instagram stories or your Facebook stories. Um, I, I take like a really up close video and that's one of the ones that I post as well. Take a picture with your face. People, we wanna see your faces. Those are the most scroll stopping pictures is a nail fee with your face. So next time you have makeup on, grab a bunch of different selfies with your nails because once you start using them, you're gonna use them all the time. <laughs> okay, am I going too fast? Are we good? Okay, I hope I'm trying not, to, I don't wanna bore anybody. I'm ready to share my screen, Jackie. Whenever. Yes, I'm ready to share my screen. Okay. I'm the host. Okay. Can you guys all see that okay? Is it big? Okay. Because I'm, okay. So I showed you my, my fake cuff, right? This is what this looks like. 
a lot of times that fence you see in the background is is what I use because it's it's got the best lighting. It's a nice color. It seems to it's neutral but still like pretty to look at. Um, here's the janky nail that I was talking about, you guys. What's the first thing that you see about this? That the nails are mis they're not the same shape. The application is not great. It's choppy, and the nails are all different lengths. Immediately turned off by that nail fee. And you have to think of yourself, you have to put yourself higher than that. You know, you have to, you have to have the best nail fees because you're the stylist and you're trying to sell a product. Um, janky nail guys, do you see it? Is that all you see? That's all I see. I can't, I can't even look at anything else. <laughs> so please, for the love, when you break nails, make them all the same length. I know it's really hard though. It's easier said than done. Okay, so now the fun stuff. Lighting is everything, you guys. It is everything. I already told you don't take your pictures inside because the lighting is never right. So I have an example of that. Um, and you'll look at first glance, these nail fees all look good, right? They're all fine. But when you look closer at the lighting, this is all Beijing beauty. Look how different the red is in every single picture. On the left is direct sunlight. In the middle is a shadow. And on the right is a cloudy sky, indirect sunlight. Indirect sunlight is, so direct sunlight would be, sunlight would be the, the sun is here directly projecting on your nails, which is why on the left picture, it's super shiny, okay? A shadow is sometimes can be direct, indirect sunlight, but not always. Sometimes the shadow's too heavy and not enough light's getting in. So that's why in the shadow, you can kind of see the red is super dark. It's not the same color as Beijing Beauty. Indirect sunlight is something that filters the, 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 the rays. So for me, it's a cloudy day because it's cloudy a lot in Georgia. So I, I literally sit there and I wait until a cloud, cloud goes by and I run out and take my nail fees because it's the most accurate. My skin tone is right. The colors are right. It's, I don't have to do very much editing because the lighting is right. Uh, let's see, next picture. Oops, I opened Messenger. I'm so sorry, you guys technology. I'm getting used to a new computer. So, <laughs> okay. Next picture is on the left, direct sunlight. Look at all the shadows. On the right is indirect sunlight. A cloud went by. That is like my best, my favorite thing is the clouds going by. The red is beautiful. My skin tone is right. You can see so much glitter on Sunset Boulevard. The palm trees pop out. I didn't really edit. I didn't edit any of these pictures, just so you guys know. I usually do edit my my nail fees, but for the sake of teaching you lighting, I haven't edited any of these pictures. So look how much just by the lighting, that nail fee on the right just pops. The colors are, they pop, it's accurate. Another example, the one on the left, direct sunlight. In the middle is, is shade, the shade of my house with not very much light coming in. And then the one on the right is a cloud went by and it was indirect sunlight. So you kind of starting to see the difference. And this one is standing in the exact same spot, taking pictures at different time during the day. You have to learn what time of day is the best for you. I like to have my nail feet kind of bent so the sun, the light hits it, but some people like to have it down. Some people want to have it up like this. So you have to figure out by just trial and error, what time of day is best for your nail fees. For me, it's the one on the right. It's indirect sunlight after the sun is at the peak. So it's kind of started going down a little bit or first thing in the morning when the sun's not just like beaming down on you. So another thing was we were talking about backgrounds. If you see that one in the middle towards the bottom, that is my background. So underneath that background that you see in, on the middle third row is a very ugly patio a very ugly patio, but you would never know because I had this background there instead. So I want you guys to look at these backgrounds and tell me what you, what pops out to you the most. Just to just figure out which one you like the most. Backgrounds matter. It doesn't matter if, it doesn't matter what it is really, as long as it's simple and not taking away from your nails because something is gonna pop out to everybody, right? So this is why I advise taking multiple pictures with multiple backgrounds. This is all pretty much the same pose with a different background. For me, it's the wood one, the one with the ivy in the background 
the grass and the one where the fence and the, and the view is in the background. Those are my favorites. And those are the ones that I use all the time. So being able to have those different backgrounds is going to reach different people because you all like a, a different background. Maybe for you, it's um, the one with the brick in the background. Maybe that's your favorite. So you want to be able to have options for people so that you can reach different, different types of customers that are like, oh, wow, look at, that's really pretty. And a lot of times it's just the background. <laughs> the background makes a big difference. Okay. So let's talk about poses. Relax. The key to taking a good nail fee is to have a relaxed pose. Don't copy someone else's poses. Don't try to force your hand to do something it doesn't want to do. Just shake it off. I literally sometimes have to shake my hands and just close them very gently and let happen what's gonna happen. What happens is this pinky flips to the side because my pinkies are crooked. Don't try to mimic a, a, a cross pinky. This is something that happens involuntary, <laughs> voluntarily. So don't try to force your pose because it's gonna come across as stiff and not natural. So relax. Don't do the eagle claw, which is the picture on the left. This is not pretty. This is scary. Don't do this. Um, the one in the middle is very stiff. Don't do that either. You're making all kinds of wrinkles and red spots on your nails. Don't do that. Just open and relax. And wherever your hand falls, take the picture. Okay. So I talked a little bit about adding visual interest. So this will be your props, right? So on the right, you see my cuff. Um, I pretty much always use this cuff. On the left, that's a good nail fee. It's good. It's not scroll stopping, but it's good. The one in the middle, I added a nail fee ring or a, a knuckle ring. It's better. The one on the right really stands out to me because there's visual interest. I'm providing different layers and, and colors and things to look at. And also using a cuff makes my nails pop out against the skin because when it's laying on your skin, they're a little bit more hidden. But if I put a cuff here to break the skin up, it makes your nail fees, your nails pop more than your entire hand, which is what you want. You want people to see your nails first. Um, oh, this is just another option with a different pose. So the one on the left is good. The one in the middle is better. I have a ring and then I add a cuff. It just kind of looks better. There's something else to look at. Also, I have really manly hands. So covering up a lot of that manliness that I hate about my hand to me makes it look better. <laughs> okay. Add depth to your pictures. Grab your cute shoes. Obviously on the picture on the left, you don't want to grab your ugly shoes. Okay, you don't want to grab those disgusting flip flops that I have on or whatever they're called. You want to grab a cute pair of shoes and maybe put on like, if it's winter, try to create like a fall, I'm not winter, fall, try to create like a fall look. So you want to wear like cute boots or whatever you have around the house, just put on cute shoes for a different picture to show people, but make sure that they're not ugly shoes like I have on the left. Okay, these are all, minus the one that says yes, the, the other three are all inside indoor lighting and what I consider to be the best lighting of my house. They all are different. And to me, they're just, they miss the mark. Indoor lighting just most of the time doesn't get it right. So um, hopefully you can see that just by seeing the example on the bottom, how much more the color is accurate, how much the glitter pops, how much you can see the palm trees and my skin tone is correct. So try to get away from take. And I know it's like, oh, I just, I don't want to go outside. I don't want to put my shoes on. I don't want to do all of that. But trust me, it makes a big difference. If you want to really up your game, go outside. Um, your props, the, the cup on the left, okay? That's a beautiful cup. It's from a team. It's promoting our team, but it's really taking away from my nails. The first thing I see when I look at this picture is the cup and you don't want that. You want the first thing that you see to be the nails. So grab a cup. I wouldn't even recommend this cute cup. It's too much. You, it's taking away from your nails. Grab something that is plain because you want people to see your nails first, okay? And then maybe the cup. The cup is secondary. So keep it simple. Don't grab really distracting props. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is my. This is one of my, the worst, my biggest pet peeves. Don't hold weird things. Don't look around and just think, oh, what happened? Why did my screen switch? This pen is sitting here. I'm going to take a picture with this pen or um, my hairbrush. I had a customer post a picture, cute nail fee, but she held a hairbrush with hair all over it. Like, oh yeah, I saw your face, Jackie. 
all over. And, and the rest of the Nilfi was ruined because it was such a weird thing to grab and it was gross. So don't hold mustard, don't hold kitchen utensils. It makes no sense for what you're trying to sell. You can hold a product that makes sense for what you're trying to sell, but don't just hold something random. Grab some cute stuff. <laughs> But I see it so much in those nail fees group, nail fee groups. I'm like, why are you holding like a dinosaur toy? Why? I don't understand. <laughs> Unless you're taking a picture with your kid. I don't know. I don't want a dinosaur toy. I'm not going to use that nail fee. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Sorry. I had to remember what this graphic was. If you still can't get it right. If you're like, Tiffany, I've relaxed. I'm trying to make a pose and it's just not working. Like the claw is still happening. My fingers are weird. They're all spread apart or it just doesn't, it's not like it's, it's not good. I don't like it. Grab a blanket, go outside, grab a blanket. So like this side of the blanket is too distracting, right? It's cute. Maybe if I only had red nails on, I would use this side for a mixed mani, flip it over and use the white side. And I would literally just sit, sit in a chair outside put the blanket on me. So it has a background and then literally just grab some of it and lay it down in my lap so that it's against the background. So that's all I'm doing in this picture on the bottom right is I'm just laying it down on top of the blanket, grabbing it very softly and just taking a picture. So if you still can't get it right, like you need to be holding something, grab a blanket. They're really good props. Not a kitchen towel, a blanket <laughs> or like a sweater or something cute. Okay, um, signature nail fees. This is if you wanna up your game even more, have a signature nail fee that you can that people will look at and over time they'll think I know that that is Tiffany's nail fee that's how polished I know that's hers just by looking at it even if I don't see the the watermark on the bottom I know that's hers so I always take a nail fee exactly like this same pose a ring my cuff wood background um, and I want to show you guys a couple of signature nail fees maybe it's not the same pose but it's by looking at it, you know who it is. Does this look familiar? I know that's the swanky nail. I don't know who this person is, but I know she always takes a picture with that cup. She always takes that same exact picture. I know without even seeing sparkles and sprinkles. I know that's her. Christina, fancy fingers, Christina Fix, right? I, this girl always takes the same one, Nifty Nails by Michelle. Everyone knows this, right? How important is it for Beck that she has these signature nail fees? It is everything for her. She has like over 10,000 followers on Instagram because her nail fees stand out from everyone else's. You can look at it and know that's Classy Claws by Beck. Sylvia, I always know her nail fees. She always has the same exact pose. Charmed by Hugh. Like I don't even need to look at what the, the tag is. Huck, yes. Like they always have the same exact poses. This is Nail Candy by Jesse D. Having a signature nail fee will up your game because people will start to realize, oh, that's Jackie's. And I actually can recognize yours too, Jackie. I know when, I, when you post them, I know that that's Jackie's. So good job. Um, and the reason that's, I mean, ask yourself why that's important. Are these people successful in your mind? Are they standing out more than every other stylist out there? To me, they are. They were the first stylist I ever heard of. And I started following them immediately because I'm like, these guys are super successful. People want to follow success. So if you have a nail fee that screams to people that it's yours, you're doing it the right way. And you're marketing in a genius, brilliant way, because that's everything. Like I said, Jackie wouldn't even know who I was if it wasn't for the fact that she could recognize my nail fees, right? So I'm going to stop sharing now. That's all I really wanted to show you guys for that. And there was one more thing I wanted to go over, which was like editing of your nail fees. I have a couple of apps that I use. Um, if you have an iPhone and you go into edit and you hit auto edit, it does everything. And if you're outside, it makes it pop in all the perfect ways. And I never have to like change anything. It just auto edit does it all. And it looks really good. That's usually all I ever do when it comes to editing the actual picture is just to hit auto edit. If you don't have an iPhone, there's a lot of really awesome apps out there. I like to use Snapseed. Um, Snapseed also has a really awesome feature where if I, I, we've all done it, we get cuts on our hands, right? And it's like, ah, that's my nail fee hand. Crap. What am I going to do now? How can I cover that up? Snapseed has a healing feature. So if I can, I can zoom in really wide or really close and click on that cut and it just takes it away. 
it's incredible. So that's my favorite. And there's also, like I said, I have really just, my nails are really uneven, you guys. So every now and then when I do a solid, you can see the dip in my nail. I use that healing feature for that too, just to kind of cover up that dent, okay? You don't want to edit them too much because it's going to start looking fake. And I mean, in my opinion, I would, I like to have the pictures look really natural. So they look real and unedited. So people don't look at it and think, oh, she edited that a lot. That's not real. You want to keep it natural in my opinion. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to say was watermarking. Stick your name on everything you put out there. If it has to do with color sheet every time. I want to go back to that story of that nail fee I posted in one of the groups and I had no, I, nobody knew who I was. I, I never get more than like 50 likes on my nail fees at the time. And I posted that one. It was when Palm Before the Storm and Mermaid Brigade came out and I did like a beachy Manny and it immediately, I got like a thousand likes on it. It was crazy. That never happened to me before. What if I didn't have my watermark on that, you guys? And that was shared around to everybody. Nobody would still know who I was. So you don't know when it's going to happen, put your watermark on it. And if you have a website, put your website on it. I can't tell you how many times I've heard, I get an order from a new customer or a new person adds my VIP group. And I, I just like to ask, Hey, can, I'm just curious. How did you find me? Cause I didn't know who they were. And they'll say, Oh, I found you on Instagram. And I just saw your website. It works. So stick your, your website on, on everything or your, your handle at least, because you never know when people are going to find you. Um, so you want to make sure that something is pointing them back to you. Um, so I advise watermarks on everything. Don't care if it's just a nail fee, put it real small or like a, just a selfie of your face, put it real small on the bottom. It doesn't have to be huge all over the place. Um, and then my last advice is if you put your names on the nail fees, the, the set names, don't clutter the picture. It's your nail fee is not about the set names. It's about your nails. So you don't want to add like big chunky fonts that take up half your picture to say what the set names are. Just make it small. A lot of people like to put them on there. I make it really small and stick it on the top. So it's there, but it's not the main focus of my nail fee and it's not cluttering it. So that's all I have. I'm so sorry. I feel like I powered through that and probably bored you all to death, but that's all I have. Does anybody want to ask questions or? Yeah, you did great. Nobody's bored. But okay. if you have questions, um, maybe the best thing to do is to put it in the chat feature. It makes it a, a little bit faster. I think we only have eight more minutes. So okay. just if you have questions um, and we'll wait for that while, I, well, I think there was one question up here. Someone asked, um, does auto edit change the color at all on your pictures? Yes, it, 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 if, if the lighting is good, it can actually adjust your picture so that it's perfect skin tone. I think it's it's like auto white balance. If you don't have an iPhone again, I'm typing, I saw someone say, can you share that apps in the in the chat? So I'm typing in um, Snapseed, ha Snapseed has an auto white balance thing. So I don't, I'm not, I don't know the terminology, but all I know is I click auto white balance and it, sh it sometimes will make my picture the perfect skin tone. Um, so Snapseed. Let me look at my apps. Go ahead for your next question. I'm just typing the apps in here. Yeah. Um, I don't see any other questions yet, but I will reiterate a couple of things that you said because I know it's it, it takes practice and you're gonna like go take your first one or you know, you're gonna try all these things. You're gonna go take your first one and you're going to think, oh my gosh, it looks nothing like hers. And, and you're gonna get discouraged. Just remember it takes practice and she's been like, doing this for how long have you been doing like really zeroing in on your nail fees maybe like five months so and, and i've been doing this for two years yeah so it's going to take some practice just like with anything else in our business um but i love where you talk about the props and your backgrounds i do the same exact thing if i do a picture and i'm at home in my pajamas i make sure i put my cute shoes on or I'm putting like, just like you, I'll put like half the sweater on. I should totally cut the sleeve off. I've never thought about that. I've it's never, so easy. I'm over here like, cause I live in Alabama. And so it's the same way it's hot. And so I'm like putting half the sweater on. So that's mm -hmm. genius. I love and then it. it gets in the way of your picture. It's like hanging in the background. I couldn't stand it. Yes. So um, yeah. So I love that. Well, I'm really not seeing any other questions. I think someone else just asked about auto 
editing, changing the color at all. I don't know, maybe she didn't hear, but she said that it will change it in a good way. So I think that is sometimes when I'm going to edit and I use any kind of editing app where it changes the color, I try to just not change it too much to change obviously the color of the, the right. set. But if you're doing Tiffany's tips on getting the good lighting, you're not going to really need to edit that picture that much. And I think that's the most important. Oh, that's okay, I made it. <laughs> you're giving, um the whatever app you use to edit you're giving it more to work with if your lighting is good because if you take a picture that's really dark that app's going to have a hard time adjusting your lighting without making it really grainy so you have to give the app something good and good lighting to work with so that's why i always say go outside and if it's not in the back of your house go to the front of your house you'll find you'll find indirect lighting somewhere yeah and i as somebody put on there that they go to the park um, I mean, those are great things you could, yeah, take yourself to the park, take yourself to, uh, we have a clubhouse in our neighborhood who has, it, it has like really pretty brick and I take myself to the clubhouse to get the background for that. So if you have to travel, it's worth it, right? I mean, everything that she does is so pretty. She takes time. I love how she said it's, it's a time investment, but it's an investment into your business. Just like we have with, you know, having to spend money in some areas. Um, it really is an investment and look where she is now. She's so successful and we all know her nephews. So, um, and you know, don't feel like you have to go out there and be the best out there, but think of your customers, think of, of what they want to see meet you at the clubhouse. Jamie, that's so funny. She's my neighbor. <laughs> um, so anyways, well, I will, we'll hop off. This was so- Can I um, interrupt for a second? Cause my question isn't being seen in the chat. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. No, that's okay. I just wanted to know the knuckle ring seller. I got you. I see it now. It's called yeah. the humble ring on Etsy. And I send, I don't know who they are, but they, their nail fees are super cute and they're cheap and they last and they're adjustable without looking adjustable. I send everybody to them. So I, I don't know who they are, but they're hopefully getting a lot of business from <laughs> stylists over there. Cause they're really, they're awesome. Okay. I was I gonna say, you. <laughs> you're welcome. I'm so sorry. If I didn't see anyone else's, let me know. Um, if you look back and search my name in those nail fee groups to make you feel better, look at my old nail fees. Like I promise they were nothing better than what anyone else is doing. I was taking them just, just because I was just like, look, look, I did a new nail fee. It wasn't me trying to market or advertise. It was just okay. You know, it wasn't bad, but it was okay. So this is why this training is to up your game. It doesn't have to be the best. Mine aren't the best. Everyone ha has who they think is the best. I challenge you guys to follow the best. Who in your mind takes the best nail fees? Follow them and try to learn from what they're doing. Even if they're not telling you, you can look and observe what they're doing and tr just try until you figure it out. That's how I did it. Nobody told me how to do it. I just followed everyone that was like, dang, these girls are really good. I'm gonna follow them and try to figure out what they're doing because they're successful. Um, and- Can I ask a question really quick? Sure. Do you recommend natural nails or getting your nails done artificially or with gel? I don't recommend anything. I've seen really pretty nail piece where, where people's nails are super short, um, mid length like mine. And I've seen a lot of acrylic ones, all different shapes. It, it, honestly, you're going to appeal to different people. So I don't recommend anything. You just, you be mm -hmm. yourself and do what you do and just use the tips with what you have. Okay. I'll try to be someone. It's that really good to know because I don't like artificial nails, but I'll do them if it'll improve what people want to see. You know. <laughs> no, I've seen some really adorable nail fees with people that have really super short nails and probably hate their nails, but the, the nail fee is really cute. So it doesn't, okay, thank it doesn't you. matter to me. You're welcome. Yeah, and I agree, and I'll add to that really quickly um, because when she talks about your nails being all the same length, I think that's so important. So maybe you do want them long. You broke one. And then, but you don't want it to look like she calls it janky, maybe go to Walmart and get this, you know, the glue on nails for, I don't know, however long it takes you to grow that nail out. So then, you know, it, it looks all the same. Um, okay, so I'm gonna challenge you to do one thing as well. I am going to challenge you to not get overwhelmed with this. If you took notes, I say, take like three things away, try to implement them this week and then build on that as you go, okay? But other than that, I think we're done. Tiffany, thank you so, so awesome. much. This was wonderful. Thank you again. So um, everybody, we'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.